everyone, welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell by the title today, I have a B6 Salergy plan with me to share with you all. And I'm using this beautiful kit from my shop called Dusty. And it's just this real pretty autumnal a floral kit and I just absolutely love it. So I have the four page kit here plus the bottom washi and I'm going to be pulling in my brand new Dusty Bow tabs to tab the week as well. I just think they're just, I just love this kind of colour palette of florals. It's just so, so pretty. So I've already gone ahead and done my lines for the week um, and I'm just going ahead now and laying down the date covers so it's been so long since i've done a plan with me i think it must be a couple of weeks because i did film one one week um in my salergy and it must be longer than that and that it i was done it as like where i was because i had no no one here so i had no kids no james and it was like a good 40 minutes long and it just wouldn't upload. I just don't, it was so frustrating because it was just so nice just to sit there and, you know, talk, etc. Um, but anyway, so I had to kind of scrap that one. Um, and yeah, because it would, it would, I just didn't have the time to re um, edit it to do the voiceover because you all have been keeping me so busy with the shop and I'm truly, truly am thankful for that. I just, you know, I'm sort of getting weekly orders now um, and I'm, you know, from regular people as well. Um, so I always like, recognise when it sort of pops up. I always recognise the name and I can just instantly be like, I know who that is, you know, um, and it's so, so lovely. So I'm just going ahead now and laying down the washi um, next to the date covers for each day. And I'll absolutely love doing this. Um, I will just say my paper is very thick. So you do have to give it a little bit more welly when cutting. Um, just a little bit more pressure than you would normally do if you're cutting thicker paper. Because my paper is very thick. It's beautiful, beautiful paper that is thick. So yes, um, just going ahead now and doing the date dots. I had a right mare. I couldn't find my normal date dots. Um, so I had to use these ones from Lily Blossom Designs and they're foiled, but it's not too terrible. Um, I didn't, because they're silver foil and because of the, you know, the nature of this kit. But anyway, um, just laying down my bow tab and then realised that I actually put it on the wrong page. I should have put it on the Monday. So there's like me looking back and checking. Um, so if you, my stickers are not advertised as removable, but if you are careful and you're, you know, you're quick kind of thing, just like I was there realising I made the mistake, quickly get it up, peel it very, very carefully, you should be able to get it up um, off of the paper. So, yeah, and I just absolutely love my little tabs. They're just super cute. Um, and there will be more tabs coming out in the collections that I have in the shop. So, yeah, a lot of things I'm working on, guys, a lot of things. So I am just going ahead now and laying down the full decorative boxes and then I'll be doing the day highlights, I believe. So how are you all doing? As I said at the beginning, it's just been so long since I've been able to do a, a, a video and I just want to just catch up with you all. Um, just kind of, I don't want to obviously say too much in this type of plan with me because I am planning on doing my memory spreads where I can obviously talk a bit more in depth of what happens each week. But just some um, little pointers is right of the puppies. So the puppies are now nearly four weeks old. And four weeks old are they? Are they four or four or five? Oh, I can't remember now. So what I mean, this is what I've not been asked to do any memory planning. So I'm like, I'm so like, I don't even know how old the puppies are. But they are so cute they've gotten to that age now where they've got teeth so they're very bitey but also they really fight each other 
a lot. I mean, there's one particular one. We just, they've obviously all got different coloured um, collars on. And so this particular one, we'll see, she's got a pink collar, so she's called Pink. Um, and, uh, yeah, she, honestly, she's a right little bully. And um, countless times when I've gone up there to see the puppies and I'm pull, I'm literally like picking her up off of the other puppies um, because she's like, you know, biting their neck and all of this and everything. I'm like, oh, you right little madam you are. Um, but yeah, they're so lovely. And it was really funny this morning, actually, James and I were um, obviously sitting in our living room, drinking our coffee. We had our door open and we could hear the puppies barking and we was just in it was so loud like we we got quite a bit of distance between us and um my mother in like James's parents house and we could hear them barking and we was just in hysterics because we were just like it must be so loud in there they're all going off because there's nine of them you know um so yeah anyway so that's just a little update of the puppies for you um they're all fluffy they're all getting big and they're all really super cute. So <laughs> um, what am I doing now? Preschool. So Osara has started preschool. She started last week. Well, so when I'm filming this, she actually started this week. So this, what you're seeing now is her kind of like second week in preschool. Um, she did really well on the first day for for it um dropped her in um you know done the whole like goodbye you know, i'm gonna come back at lunchtime and she's like okay gave me a kiss um walked out no crying no nothing um friday so this was yesterday um done the same thing again and i was just like right you know mom's gonna go now give me a kiss she gave me a kiss Walking out, as I turn around to make sure she's not following me, there she is in floods of tears. So I was just like, oh, I thought we was on to a winner here. Um, but no, she she obviously settled right down when I left and all of that. So I used um, the preschool script stickers that I made myself. I think these are in the shop. I'm pretty sure they're in the shop. And I was going to use the Once More With Love little troll um because that's how I marked it last week, like the little troll stickers, but I obviously didn't really go. So I found in my reusable sticker book, the um, Stick With Me shop, I believe it's called, the Tofu the Panda. And I know it was like kind of like a lazy day, Tofu the Panda, because he's like lying down, but I just thought he'd look cute. So I just used that. So I went ahead and marked payday on Friday, but I'm now going ahead and marking my Etsy payday. So I'm using these wonton in a million payday um, character stickers to mark that. And I use that on a label sticker box and just wrote Etsy. Then I'm going to go ahead and mark down Harriet's PE day. So this is the one good thing I think that has come out of with, regarding with the schools and everything um, that my school have kept in place is that two days a week they go in their PE stuff. And you know what? It just makes life so much easier. So I'm so, so pleased that they actually kept that in place. And I kind of knew they would because it makes their life easier as well. So I do have a trainer sticker within the kit, but I only have one, and obviously she has two days of PE. So I use my Little Bloom Papery grey trainer stickers to mark that and just write PE, um, just as a reminder. Then I'm going to go ahead and use my Once More With Love um, little cooking stickers, and I use these to mark down what we have for dinner each night so I do like marking down my meals just because when you're sort of in a rut and you don't know what to do it's kind of nice to look back and see, see what meals you've done previous weeks that's why I do it and also I do it speak, help me with the food shop as well um, so on Tuesday I'm just using these squared stickers you know I love these stickers and I actually just love layering them together because Harriet is going to her friends after school this day um, for like a little play date so I needed to mark that down 
I didn't have anything really to like character wise. So I just found in my reusable sticker book, this um, Your World of Colour, sorry, little iris with the bunny ears. Um, I don't really know why, I just thought it was cute. And so I just wanted to use it, to be honest with you. And when else am I going to use it? Bar when it comes to Easter next year, which is ages away. So <laughs> I just thought, just throw it in. Why not? Um, so yeah, I'm just going to carry on marking for my dinners each night. And then I'm going to be moving to Wednesday where I am going to be marking down that I'm meeting up with my friend this day and we're going to go and have some breakfast out. Um, I will have Ostara, but you know what? I have been taking, during the six weeks, I took the girls out like a few times to lunch and they were really, really good. So yeah, I am marking that. I'm just going to be using one of my exclusive doodle stickers, which are only exclusive in my shop. And I'm using the tea time one to mark that. Um, these are a little bit different to the what you're going to get from me now, because these were kind of like a little prototype um, style sheet. But obviously, they're perfectly good to use. I just felt they were, the icon was just a little bit too small. So I just made it a little bit bigger. Um, it was just my personal preference. And I'm pleased I actually did make it bigger. Um, it's not too much bigger, but just a bit bigger. Um, so, yeah. So I used that. And then the breakfast date is a script sticker from my shop as well. And I think they're available in the shop. And then on Tuesday, I just lay down this um, half box because I'm not too sure whether I'm going to have my nails done or we're going out for breakfast. So my friend does my nails, but we've been talking about going out for breakfast. But I really need my nails done. Um, but yeah, we was just I was just kind of like waiting for that to all be confirmed, and then I had to mark down it was going to be I think it's rubbish bin day. Yes, rubbish bin day. So I used the scripts from the kit to mark that. Um, so yes, and then I'm just going to look, just looking through now, see if I had any bills due, but I, I don't think I did. Um, so I didn't mark any bills. And I think that is it for the plan. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the, the, the this week section. So I go ahead and mark out my lines for this week's section and I grab the to buy header because I do like a to buy section just for throughout the week. I just kind of write down what I need from shopping and then I go ahead to start laying down this habit tracker and I thought, you know what, I've got these decorative boxes, let's use them up. So I lay a decorative box at the top and then the habit tracker underneath. Really sorry if you heard Ostara then. They're playing in Harriet's room and I, I, God knows what they're playing. Anyway, <laughs> I'm, it's, I'm trying to do this voiceover. So I'm just like, do what you like. I just need five minutes just to do this voiceover. Um, so yeah, I'll go ahead and lay down the habit tracker. And then it's, I know this is up the this week section, but because of the style of this book, I need a next week section because like when I have things like someone will say like, oh, do you want to do this? Do you want to do that? I just need somewhere to jot down what happens like for next week. So I use the last remaining like little like date cover, which is blank and put next week. And then I used the, um, the weekly sidebar um, sticker box there for that and then I just go ahead and lay down a, another on the last uh, full decorative box at the bottom of that column and then I pull in the meal plan um, sticker just so that I can just kind of roughly write down any meals that I want to do for that week and that is it guys that is the spread complete I absolutely love how this has turned out and I'm so looking forward to starting the week i'm still in love with the stalogy i'm still in love with my motum and i cannot see me moving out of this setup anytime soon i am still so so in love with 
this. So yeah, I'm just showing you the pages now. Um, I really hope that you enjoyed this plan with me. Thank you ever so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please give it a big thumbs up because you know it means the world to me when you do. And do not forget to go and check out my shop, which is linked down below if you wanted to pick up this kit or see any of my other um, products as well. I will also have linked down below my PR teams, um, codes that you can use so you can save yourself 10% off a minimum spend five pounds and by using one of their codes you'll grab their freebie sampler as well so it's well worth using their codes guys and if you don't already go and follow me on instagram oh if i remember i'll leave their instagram links um there too so yeah that is it from me so i hope that you're all well i hope you're having a great day and a great week and i shall see you all soon bye bye